in a big silence, and I thought that I could hear the sea far below me. Oh, I said, and I suddenly knew something that I hadn't known before. Then the room started to spin, and I just made it down to the ladies in time to throw up. I was still shaky when I went back to the exhibition. I didn't seem Mr. Interested, but I wasn't really in the mood for making new friends anyhow, so that was okay. I didn't look at the Cyclops again, and I avoided Redon altogether. There was some good Redans that didn't make me vomit, and of course Moreau and Becklin, and others that I now know as the usual suspects in symbolist art. There were drinks after the show, and a lot of champagne was being put away with people my money to, with money to spend on the arts. The catering staff, all young and all in black, kept topping me up, and I kept emptying my glass, so I was pretty, feeling pretty free and easy by the time I bumped into Mr. Interested, or he bumped into me. He had enough bubbly to put a little heart into him, and this time he smiled at me. <laughs> I said to him, Come tansa mit mir? What in the world made me say that? I remember that I had to grab his arm because I almost fell over. Champagne doesn't do that to me, and must have been the vodka that I had before coming to the Royal Academy. <laughs> Although I'd have thought my session in the ladies would have given me a clean state. Come tansa mit mir. Did I say it twice? He seemed surprised. Are you German, he said. No, I said, are you? <laughs> Half. My mother is. That's a line from Herr Olof. Why did you say it to me? I don't know. I'm not responsible for everything I say. <laughs> are you the Earl King's daughter? Maybe, but I don't feel like dancing now. Anyhow, this is not a dancing situation. It's a symbolist's do, and symbols refer to something else, like me. What do you refer to? Different things at different times. I have to pee. Off I went. I hung around the loo for a long time, thinking about the line I'd quoted from Herr Olof. It's a Lerva ballad, and come dance with me, is what the Earl King's daughter says to Herr Olof as he's riding late and far to summon guests for the wedding day, for the wedding the next day. Come tanze mit mir, she sings. He turns her down, and on his wedding day he's dead. I heard that ballad for the first time in Vienna, at Adam Freund's flat, when he sang it to me stark naked. A weird guy, that Adam. What made me say those words to this stranger? It was as if there was a connection between us before we'd ever met. I was sort of spooked by that, and I didn't know how I felt about talking to him again. I thought I heard a man's footsteps approaching, so I ducked into a cubicle. Mine was the only one that was occupied. There was a knocking at the door of the loo, and when he got no answer, he came to my cubicle and said, Are you all right? I said, Yes, but I can't talk any more tonight. When can I see you again, he said. You'll be sorry, I thought. Write down your name and slip it under the door. I said, I'll call you. <laughs> I don't know your name, he said. Not now, I said, I'll call you. Why was I doing this? I don't know. I do a lot of stupid things. A scrap of paper came under the door. Elias Newman and his phone number. I'll lead you to it, he said, and his footsteps walked away. When I came out, the lobby was pretty empty. I got my things and went outside. The air was cold and seemed heavy with snow that was almost ready to fall. I walked across the forecourt, under the arch, over the road, and hailed a taxi. Piccadilly was full of lights and traffic, with a lot of blackness around the lights. When we turned into Park Lane, the cars rushing through it looked as if they were emptying London. Soon there'd be no more people, only driverless cars hurrying into the night. The trees in Hyde Park were pale under the lamps, with cold black shadows. Bayswater Road stared at me as if I were a foreigner. When we got to my place in Notting Hill, the street was deserted. The lamps were dim. I'd left lights on in my house, but they looked like lights in an empty house. I could hear a helicopter quite close, then farther away, then close again. My cat Stevo came out to meet me, and we went inside together. Before I closed the door, I looked back at the street, and it was like a photograph of something that was gone. I shook my head and locked the door. 
I didn't think I'd be forming Elias Newman. Thank you. <laughs>